before mass communication, it would be difficult to have what we now know as a celebrity. I suppose somebody like Louis the Thirteenth was a bit of a celebrity, or Henry the Eighth, um, but not quite as we know it today. They were more sort of despots, weren't they? Um, now, now, sort of anybody could be a celebrity, and then once they are a celebrity, um, we we as the sort of every man, common folk, we tend to make them into a different race. So you've got celebrities and ordinary people. And when you get something like the X Factor, uh, and, 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 and they, can take, they take the contestants out onto the red carpet for an opening of a, a film or something, and there's other celebrities there, or Big Brother, um, Oh, you know, they're surprised, they're surprised. People, were sc little girls were screaming at them and everything like that. They had made the leap from one to the other. But in a way, that's what we want to do, isn't it? it, it well, some people do. It's sort of, uh, we want to promote people to a sort of beyond the normal. It, almost like a sort of Aristotelian form or platonic form. Um, that there's these perfect forms. It doesn't take long for our our, uh, our little um, psyche to to promote someone higher, high up, and, and, and we think, oh, oh, they're wonderful. I wish I could be like them. You know, something something like that. Um, funny that I was looking on the internet about celebrity and. And there's a sort of Forbes list of the hundred top celebrities, and the American celebrities are, aren't really people who we would have thought of as uh, particularly c celebrated, um, like uh, Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres. I mean, we would just sort of think them as sort of ordinary type of people. Um, so there's different types of celebrity, but different nations promote different people to to celebrity. I mean, we tend to, in England, we're very keen on soccer, football, football, and we tend to uh, think of um, uh, uh, David Beckham and um, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Leano Messi as sort of more, more celebrity worthy, you know, people with skills like that. Um, It'd be very interesting to do a do a little bit of research into um, people who have become celebrities who have no qualifications whatsoever. Because uh, one of the things about sort of qualifications is that it makes you very level-minded, um, not quite so outspoken. You know, you always take a balanced balanced view, and it tends to suppress personality. I would say. In, in my humble opinion, and uh, um, but a lot of a lot of people have have sort of uh, become successful um, without taking the qualification route. I don't know whether I've really said anything actually, but uh, I'm going to finish there, and I've got food for thought now for many other videos. Right, bye for now.